Hey y'all, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we thought that we would take this time to um, answer a lot of questions that we receive on the regular from our friends over on Facebook and social media. And so we're going to label this getting to know us. And so uh, we're just going to answer a lot of random questions that have been asked by some of you. And we are not going to go into great depth on a lot of these topics because in the future we plan to make videos going in depth on finances and marriage and parenting and all of those good things. So um, so today we're just going to just briefly answer some of the top questions that a lot of y'all have been asking us. Well, I am 47 and we both live here in West Monroe, Louisiana. And then Ashley is 41 years old. I'm 41 years She's old. She's six years younger. She's the young one of the marriage. Yes. So I was born in Monroe, Louisiana. Um, my childhood was really, really a great childhood. Uh, my parents have been married for 47 years. Uh, I grew up in the same home, in the same neighborhood. In fact, my parents still live there. Uh, my mom was a stay-at-home mom. Actually, she worked within the home. She was an interior designer. So I grew up with my mom always uh, right there in the midst of all of our activities and everything. Uh, my dad worked very hard to provide for his family. I have an older brother and a younger sister. Uh, and we're a close-knit family, have always been a close-knit family. Um, we grew up in a Christian household. Uh, my parents greatly respect each other. Uh, I never rarely ever saw them argue in front of us. Um, so I really had a great childhood. I can't, I can't really think of anything negative, so to speak. So with my childhood, uh, I had two parents. They've been married for, I believe it's 57 years now. Uh, I have an older brother named Mark, and then I have an older sister named Rhonda. Uh, Mark actually lives here close to us, and then my sister Rhonda lives in North Carolina. Uh, we grew up in a typical medium our median uh, household income. Uh, it was a Christian home. Uh, it was really a great childhood. Uh, our parents uh, didn't make a lot of money, but they did provide for us well. Uh, my dad worked both as a uh, dispatcher for the fire department and also as a traveling salesman. And then my mom was actually a stay-at-home mom early on in our lives. And then later on, she went back to college and got her master's degree and began teaching here at the local university. We were not high school sweethearts because as I was graduating from, we went to the same high school together, which was Washita Christian School. But as I was graduating, I think the next year she actually was entering <laughs> middle school. So we did not know each other at the time. Um, the first time we actually, I guess officially met, uh, was I was had a roommate that was her cousin. Uh, we had ended up going to a game, uh, began to get to know her family, and uh, I just thought she was a good-looking, sweet girl, and I ended up thinking, wow, I'd like to marry her, and uh, I, that was my first opinion of her. Her first opinion of me was a little different. So when I met Stan, I was about 17 years old and he was 24 and 23. he was, or 23, yeah. he was just out of the Marine Corps. Uh, he worked as a deputy sheriff. And so his personality was pretty strong, <laughs> abrasive, <laughs> not what I was used to in, um, I guess the high school guys that I hung out with. So while I thought it was cool, that we had this older cop dude that hung out with us and he kind of liked me and he hung out at my house sometimes. Uh, I didn't really, I wasn't really attracted to him romantically that way. Um, <laughs> but it all worked out in the end. <laughs> We've been married for 20, almost 22 years, so it worked out. But yeah, so he, he just has a very strong personality and it just took me a while to um, kind of understand I'm just going to leave it there. I understand my craziness. <laughs> so
So it was complicated. Yeah, I hung out at her house a lot. Uh, I was friends with her, their mom mainly. Um, when she ended up needing a date to her senior prom, or it was called the junior senior banquet, mm -hmm. um, she ended up asking me. I thought it was for romantic reasons, and it was actually because she just needed a date. Uh, so uh, I always had something for her. Uh, I'd been praying about it. I was looking to get married because I was older. Um, and then as I prayed about it, I, I clearly heard God say, hey, this is the woman you're going to marry. Uh, I stupidly <laughs> ended up telling her that. Uh, and for a 17-year-old girl to hear somebody say that, hey, we're going to get married because I prayed and heard God say this, it scared the crap out of her. So uh, ended up going with her mom, taking her and several girls on a on her senior trip. And then soon thereafter, um, while I was praying, God had told me to pretty much walk away from her, which was hard for me because I'm thinking, wait a minute, you already told me this is the girl I'm going to marry. So why are you now telling me to step away from her? Because here's the deal. Stan is all or nothing kind of guy. He's either 150% in or he is just completely out. So he was just, while he knew that he wanted to marry me, I did not care for him romantically. <laughs> <laughs> and he was always, always at my house just always right where I was, and I just kind of felt smothered. And so- I, was, I did smother. Her. Yeah, That's so true. he was just always like right up in my grill, you know what I mean? But I'm sitting here thinking, look at this. Why would a woman not want this? Yeah. I just, I had bad eyesight at the time. I didn't, I didn't see what she was seeing. That's <laughs> not true. So, uh, so when he decided to step back and kind of give me a breather, that is when I kind of had the chance to really take a look at if I really wanted to pursue a relationship with him or if I did not want to. And it just kind of gave me a moment to breathe and come and up then, for air. And then she came back crying, saying, oh my God, I've got to marry you. You're the greatest guy in the world. I didn't say all that. Okay, well, she did say, hey, we're supposed to be together. That was good enough for me. Yeah. So here we are, 22 years later. Yeah, right. And, and she's, she knows she still needs me. I do need you for that paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> that little paycheck. So our dating relationship, because our personalities are completely opposite, which works well together. But when I, I was, a, like I said, I was 17, 18 years old and he was much older and he, yeah, he was 23, 24 and he just handled life differently and handled relationships differently than I, than what I was used to. So that of course caused a lot of friction, a lot of arguments. Um, I think we broke up a couple times because I couldn't she broke up with me. I broke up with him. I never broke up with her. Because he was a turd. Ever. I was never a turd. That's not true. Yeah. So, so we had a few breakups in our dating relationship. Um, but obviously, he popped the question. And once I said yes, and once I knew that this was the man I was to marry and wanted to marry, I never looked back or gave it a second thought. So he won in the end. <laughs> So we have been married for, this year will be 22 years in October. Uh, I was 26 years old when we got married and she... I was, was just 20. Yeah, she was 20 years old. Yeah, So I was just a baby. She was a hot baby. <laughs> Creep. Hot babe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not baby. So we are Christians. We believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, we raise our, our kids uh, to follow him just as we do. And pretty much the Bible is uh, our guidebook for life. Uh, we follow what it teaches and we follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. Uh, we really don't have many hobbies. Um, I guess I would say that my hobby would be exercise, working out. I'm not athletic. I've never been athletic. She's athletic. I'm not athletic. She doesn't think she's athletic, but she's athletic. Yeah. 
it doesn't come natural for me or easy for me. But anyways, we have a local gym that we attend and we've been members there for years and years and years. And I I have finally developed a love for working out. I have a friend that I, you know, usually go through different seasons of life, and I have a girlfriends that I'll meet up there and we'll uh, work out together. So that's that kind of combats both things that I'm looking for as a mom, looking for a friendship and you know just time away from the kids. Um, but also, I know that exercise makes me feel better, um, and so that's really my only hobby. I am kind of crafty. I like to decorate, um, I like to design t-shirts. I used to sew a lot for uh, when Emerson came along, our first daughter, I used to sew a good bit. I don't really sew a whole lot anymore. But really, we try to keep our life pretty simple and so we don't really have a lot of extracurricular activities that we're involved in. I pretty much work out at the gym. Uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty much my hobby. I do like to write. I do not get to write as much as I used to. Uh, I still study uh, the Bible a lot, uh, but it's just, it's hard to um, spend as much time as you'd like doing some of these things when you do have responsibilities such as six kids and your marriage and providing for all of them. So it's not like it was back when we were first married or when we just had a few kids. So we've had a we've had to change a lot of things. Yeah. So, so we have been married 21 years. We bought our first home together in the year 2000, which was when our first child Addison was born. And it was a small home, but it was a great little home. And we lived there for 14 years, a small three bedroom home, uh, but it served us well. And we raised our first four kids, our four biological kids, we raised them there uh, for the most part until we moved into this home in 2014, something Somewhere like that. There. Anyways, uh, so when we moved into this home, it had an extra bedroom. It was definitely more square footage, uh, a larger backyard and all of those good things. Um, lots of cabinet space, countertop space, and I didn't have enough stuff to fill it all up. And now we're busting out at the seams because we've added two more kids to our family and we're growing. And that means stuff, you know, multiplies in the home. So God has provided so well for us and we're not for want or need of anything, um, but we are getting close so. to busting out of this house. We do have two extremely different personalities. I remember back when we were going through premarital counseling, having to take personality tests, we were the polar opposites. Polar opposites. <laughs> you could not get any further apart than us. And it probably, well, it did. It concerned a lot of people. It even concerned the man that married us, uh, the pastor. But uh, she, was, she's, she was very, very, very quiet and reserved. I was very loud and outspoken. Uh, she tried not to push issues a lot. I tried to push them. Now, uh, it did make it hard. Uh, I think it helped in certain ways. But I think as we began growing together over time, uh, I became a lot quieter. I know that's hard to believe, uh, but it is true. I've become a lot more emotional, a lot more tender. And I think as the days have gone on and the years have gone by, she's become a lot more aggressive. Uh, she's more outspoken. I stand uh, up for myself. She does stand up for herself. Um, I used to not. Everyone yeah, would walk all over me. That's true. But... So we've kind of grown toward each other. I've become more like her through the years, and she's become a lot more like me. But it's just like the old saying, opposites attract. And for me, in the beginning of our dating relationship and getting to know him, the oppo him being so completely opposite from me, like, I, I didn't know how to handle it. And I was still such a young teenager. And you were older, but you were still... She keeps saying that. I was such a young teenager. It's going to make me sound really bad. I was 17, 18, 19. But and I was looking for a wife, and she was really hot. Yeah. Was hot. I mean, she still is still hot. hot. <laughs> but we balance each other out very well now. Uh, not that we don't clash sometimes and get frustrated with how each other handles a situation or anything like that. But it's pretty neat to see how um, in, like, dire 
big circumstances that might come up that would stress me and cause me to kind of go over the top. He is very calm and just handles it beautifully and then vice versa. When little things happen like someone spills a glass of milk, he kind of like gets upset and I'm like, oh, it's no big deal. Just clean it up. This could take a long time. We've got six of them and they're all pretty great. Addison is our 19 year old. He recently got married in June of 2019 to a wonderful woman named Rainy. And they are actually, uh, they got pregnant a few months after being married and they're expecting the first baby in May. May little baby boy. Uh, so we'll be grandparents for the first time. But Addison has always been, let, let me tell you this. This will tell you what kind of kid Addison is. When he was little, we called him our little Catholic child <laughs> because he, He's the typical firstborn. He carries the weight of the world on his shoulders. Okay. He's very protective. He's very responsible. He doesn't want to let anyone down. Um, and if he ever, ever felt guilty about anything that he did, he literally would just could not go to bed at night and he would just come in come into the living room late at night and just boo-hoo and I gotta tell you what happened. I said the S word. And I'm like what S word did you say? I said, shut up. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say shut up, but I said, shut up. And you know, we're, we're just about to die out laughing, but you know, we tell him it's okay. We don't say that word. And you know, so we've called him our little Catholic child. And, he, and, and the funny thing is we're not Catholic. That's what was well, funny. Yeah, about. <laughs> we're not Catholic. And he is still that way to this day, even as a 19 year old, he, he's, you know, he's a very hard worker. Um, he takes life very seriously. He's take, he takes his responsibilities as a provider and a husband very seriously. Um, so he's just, he's a great. He, he's a great young man. He's gonna make a great daddy. Yeah, yeah. And then we have Emerson who is 16 years old now. She's our beautiful daughter. Um, as a baby, she was very like stone-faced, did not like the camera, did not like being around new people. Uh, she was a chunk too. She was a little chunky monkey. Uh, but she has developed, her personality has really completely changed and she's so outgoing. She doesn't meet a stranger. She's always smiling. She wants to be the life of the party. Uh, but at the same token, um, she's very mature and very responsible. Uh, these adoptions, I mean, I'm not saying we wouldn't adopt if we didn't have amazing, responsible kids that help us out, but they really have taken so much of the load of taking on these special needs girls and they help so much just without me even having to ask. So Emerson's like mama number two around the house and um, we love her. She keeps us laughing. She has a very, I love her sense of humor. Yeah. But she's a lot like Stan too. She says it like it is and she doesn't take any mess off of anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and she will hurt you if you touch she her. She will hurt you, yeah. <laughs> she's very talented. She's very artistic. She's one of those people that can teach her own self how to play the piano, the guitar. And she has. And she can draw beautifully. I mean, I'm kind of jealous of her. Yeah. I think she got that from his dad because your, your might, dad's yeah. artistic. Yeah. Okay, and our next little one is Grayson. Well, he's not little anymore. He'll be 13 in June, and um, he has always been a mama's boy, <laughs> still is. Um, but as a little one, he was very shy and timid and only wanted to be with me. Um, he held under her leg with his thumb in her mouth. Held the whole onto, time. yeah. He liked to put his little hand down my shirt like this. <laughs> he did. Yeah. And, uh, but his personality is really changing. He's, he's, He's becoming a lot more social um, at church. He's very outgoing and looks forward to going to like youth group events. Even if some of his friends aren't going, he's okay walking in by himself, which is like a huge thing for him because he was the kind of kid that when he was eight, nine years old, if you told him to ask the waitress for more water, he would just start crying mm -hmm. because he didn't want to talk to a stranger. Uh, but he's very, he's developed a really great, sense of humor he keeps he and emerson both kind of just have that natural sense of humor and they keep us laughing uh, but he's still very um he's not super vocal with his emotions and his words of affirmation and affection he takes after me in that area um, but he's very responsible 
helps out with the girls, the little ones, a lot. So we love our Grayson. Yes. Jackson is what we thought was going to be our caboose. We thought we were done having kids. Really, we thought we were done having kids after number three, but after I sold all the baby beds and all the stuff, the next day I found out I was pregnant with Jackson, which we were totally happy with. Um, his personality, God knew exactly um, what was in future for our family and bringing home two little girls from um, through adoption because Jackson's personality is that of a firstborn. He's very, he's much like Addison, very responsible. Um, he's a protector. He wants to help everyone out that he possibly can. Um, and so he's a little OCD with his cleaning. He's a lot OCD. Around age two or three, um, he started like always wanting to clean with me and fold <laughs> clothes and he did a really good job of it. And even today, he asked to go clean people's houses. He loves to organize. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of profession he grows up to uh, pursue. So he's be and he's got the most beautiful big blue eyes, big long eyelashes. All the women always are jealous of. So <laughs> we love our Jackson. And then we have Mikaela, who is seven years old, and we brought her home through adoption. Uh, she is from the Philippines. We, she's been home a little over three years, and we just love her to pieces. I'm sure you've seen her videos here on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't seen her adoption journey, uh, you should go watch that right after you get done watching this video. And she always has a smile on her face. Uh, she has some cha some challenges neurologically and and all of that, but she's very bright, very smart. Um, she's a princess. She's a princess. And then we have little Isabel, who we brought home through adoption again from China. She's been home with us for maybe two years in August. And she is almost seven years old. Although Isabel has a lot of things kind of fighting against her, uh, she, is very smart. Uh, her giggles are the best. She came f from a very, very crap life <laughs> living in China. And, um, but she is, she's thriving now. She's doing so well. Uh, we love to hear her giggles, see her smile. Um, we just love her, love her so much and can't wait to see what the future holds for her and see, you know, all her potential that she has. <laughs> 